Hi, my name is Matt, and in this week's vlog, we're going to be taking a look at human rights, specifically focusing around polygamy and polygamous cults. So, there's a well-known polygamous cult out in Utah known as the Kingston family. And the Kingston family is made up of thousands of members. They're all related to each other. Uh, so... And they claim everything is about religion, but uh, after this vlog, you may have a different point of view on what they um, do. And so basically, we're just going to start out on a background of human rights. Um, you know, the United Nations put out the document with the 30 articles. And polygamy, the way it's done in the Kingston clan, is basically violates all 30 articles so there's a story of a few members that have escaped um you may have heard of them they had a tv show called escaping polygamy so to start off jessica she was the oldest of 12 children and she was the leader daniel kingston's uh, 25th child. At age 14, she was courted by her 42-year-old uncle to be his third wife. Jessica started working around eight years of age at a place called Washakie Ranch. Now, Washakie Ranch is a place where cult members will be sent away to repent. So if you have a disobedient wife or rebellious kids, they're getting sent there to basically get reformed it's a lot of hard labor it's a farm and um you know the working conditions are just not anywhere near where they should be there's no personal protective equipment there's no safety measures if you're injured you're actually expected to just put mud on the cut and call it a day and get back to work uh there are guards who are cult members who patrol the fence line, and they're armed with shotguns to make sure nobody comes in and nobody goes out. So, continuing on to Jessica's story, you know, she, there was one time where she recalled that she had to drink water most of the time from a dirty reservoir that had dead animals in it, and it was unsanitary. She was all her and her sister Andrea were forced to do what's called milk runs, and that's where they go to the market to buy expired food and dairy products, and that's what they had to eat. So, as you can see, we're already in violation of many human rights uh, articles. Also, throughout the uh, cult, um, your lack of education is a huge thing. And you're only taught what the cult members and cult leaders want you to learn. You are not allowed to learn anything from the outside world. You're taught everyone from the outside world is, um, it, they're basically a demon. And they're out to get you. And you're told if you leave the cult, you will go to hell. And... The way the cults operate is they just, there's a lot of unnecessary things going on, and a lot of these people are born into them. So, and the way that works is through incest. So, all the members are related to each other. Um, it's not uncommon for a female to marry her cousin that married 14 other cousins or aunts or whatever so as you can see to kind of wrap this up uh there's really not much you can do to help these people out while they're still in the cult however once they leave uh you know you're told you're considered dead to your family and there's an organization hope after polygamy that tries to help out these victims that escape. So hopefully, it, 
as time goes on, they'll be able to help out more victims that decide to escape. But due to the brainwashing and everything, it's actually kind of rare for someone to escape. So that was my vlog for this week. I hope it was informative. Um, that was kind of the short story because this can only be five minutes long. So thank you, and if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me.